everybody, this is Taylor with SQL Prep, and today we're going to go over union versus union all. So, first things first here, a union in general, and this encapsulates both union and union all, uh, it's going to combine data from two tables into one, or possibly more than two tables. Essentially, you've got table A and table B, and if you want to see information from both of them in your results, then you can use a union. And one other important thing to note with unions is that both of the tables or all of the tables involved have to be structurally compatible. Now, what does that mean? Essentially, it means that they have to have the same number of columns and those columns need to be in the same order. And also that the data types of the columns in both tables have to be compatible. So essentially, you can't do a union of a table with five columns to a table with three columns, uh, at least not if you're selecting all five columns and then those three columns. And then you can't like have the ID be the first column you select in the first table, but then have the ID be like the last column, the fifth column you select in the second table. You can't do that. And also the data types need to be compatible between the two. All right, and so that is what a union is. Now, as far as how union and union all are different, uh, first, union doesn't return any duplicates. Union all does, all right? So union all gives us back everything, no matter if it's a duplicate or not. Union gets rid of the duplicates. Okay, so enough of that. Let's go ahead and work some examples here. So we're gonna use our Northwind database. And what I want to do is I want, in this case, to grab the countries of people in the customers table and also the countries of people in the suppliers table. So essentially, I want to see all the countries that represent all of our customers and suppliers. So a union is a great way to do this. Let's go ahead and select country from customers and if we run that alone we we'll go ahead and get this list of countries right there and then if we do the same exact thing we'll just copy that and select country from suppliers then if we just ran this query right here we would of course get a list of countries from suppliers if you want to see both, then you go ahead and do a union right here. And then you will get both. First thing though, I want to go ahead and do it the union all. So if you remember, union all grabs everything, displays everything. And so we have all of the duplicates here. And there's a list. Of course, this will be a lot more helpful if we go ahead and do an order by here. So we're going to do order by country. Now we run this and we'll get the same list back, but now they're ordered alphabetically. And so with this union all, we see Argentina, 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 Australia, Australia, and then Austria, Austria. So we're seeing a lot of duplicates here. And remember, these are all the countries from the customer's table and all the countries from the supplier's table. Now, notice the difference if we get rid of the all there. So now it's just a normal union, not a union all. We run this. And we get back the same list of countries, but we've got all the duplicates removed. So we're only seeing each instance of it once. All right, so that is the example for today. We wanted to grab the countries for all customers and suppliers. The union is a great way to do that. If we do union all, we display all the countries, and if the countries appear multiple times, we display all those too. When we just do the union, without the union all, without the all part, then we don't have any of the duplicates. We just get a list of the distinct countries. All right, so that's it for union and union versus union all. And one last note is that a minor detail is Union all is slightly faster if you just want to compare it directly 
if you run the same query with union all versus with a union, union all will be a little bit faster because SQL is able to just display all the results without having, without having to go through and grab the duplicates and throw them out. Therefore, union is a little slower, union all is a little faster. Okay, union versus union all. That's all for today.